All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, place some buckets. Let's see, who am I missing here? All right, so this is for Mr. Slate. Let me bring this over here for him. Uh, again, Slate is the rescue horse. I know a lot of you guys have been following his progress. And so I'm going to take this in here with him and I'm gonna set his over here and I'm intentionally gonna make sure it's away from this other horse over here. Slate is a stallion, so he's intact. He's got huevos, right? And so one of the things, and I've got him stalled here next to a gelding. There's a gelding behind him. He seems to be a gentleman so far, but I always wanna be aware of that, right? So I'm not gonna have a mare next to him, at least not right now. I'm not gonna put him in a position where I can set him up for failure. You can see he's showing interest. When he first came, I started feeding him out here because when he came in, he would squeeze all the way up against that rail over there because he was so scared, okay? Um, but now he's to the point where we're feeding him inside the stall. He'll actually come into the stall on his own because he feels more comfortable and relaxed. And he'll even come over here. Like sometimes if this pony is out working or whatever, I'll feed him right here where he's right by the barn aisle and he's making so much progress. Like this is huge that he's coming towards me. I love that. So I'm gonna take a deep breath. That's funny, instead of coming in, he's eating over the top, but that's okay. I love that he was comfortable enough to come towards me while I was still in the stall. That is huge. Cause even look, I put a little bit of pressure. You see how he kind of gets a little bit worried. He starts snorting, right? I'm gonna add a little bit more pressure. What a pony. Let's see what he does here. I love it. He's turning back in. He knows that that blue bucket is a good thing. And so that's kind of building a, a magnet towards me, right? Giving him an opportunity to test out. It's, it's worth it for him to test out to see if he comes closer to me at that safe. Now I'm gonna be very, very conscious right here because if he takes a step towards me, I'm gonna back up. And that's just giving him a reward for making a really good decision. We take it really slow with our horses here at Steady Horse. Uh, his first week being in here, this is basically the kind of stuff that we've done. Uh, he actually doesn't start his official training until later this morning, uh, but he's been here a, a, an entire week now, right? And again, the first week is just for a wild horse. We're getting that horse acclimated. We're getting them comfortable with us. We're getting them to a place where they feel uh, relaxed. Uh, first week, you know, I'd be cleaning his stall. His stall is a mess right now. Um, our stall guy is going to be here in a little bit, and he's going to get after it and get it all cleaned up. But the first uh, couple days, uh, when I'd go in there with his with the wheelbarrow, because I didn't want anybody else in here with him, uh, he was even worried a little bit worried about that. But that's all we worked on is going in there with the wheelbarrow, putting pressure on him. Even like my hand movements right now, that would have had him snorting and flying backwards just a few days ago. So being gradual, taking our time, building his confidence is 100% key with a wild horse so that we get them to a place where instead of being reactive and wild, they are more trusting and we earn that over time because we demonstrate that we are a safe place for him to be. So you can see he's getting after that, after that food there and enjoying it. I'm gonna go ahead and give him some space and we'll be working with him more later this morning.